Well, we got another episode for you. On this episode, we're going to take a bunch of uh, suspension pieces we do have, uh, like these front lower control arms. We're going to uh, scuff these things, clean them up, and get them ready to paint. We're also going to do the half shafts, which I have. I think I've also got some tie rods we're going to try to paint. Uh, no rain today, uh, not the warmest, but uh, we'll hang these out front in the driveway and get these sprayed. So uh, follow along. I won't show a whole lot of the paints that you guys have seen some of that, but uh, these things will all be white and looking good. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to push out the bushings. Uh, that way I don't have to tape them off or anything. We'll tape off the Zerk fittings, probably the ball joint, and uh, then we can get these things scuffed up and ready to roll. So come on along and please hit subscribe if you uh, want to see more episodes. Thanks and uh, enjoy the Cobra Daytona build. Okay, so we're going to... Uh... Drive these things out. Kind of hard to hold this, so we'll um, Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these bushings and we're gonna cut little notches, uh, just a little bit with probably hacksaw. That allows the grease to get out of there and uh, it just kind of helps out when you go to grease these things. Okay. Okay, so we got those out. We'll leave these on to keep any dust out of there. Might even put a little bit of tape across that because uh, these, things, these things work excellent. Yeah, I put these, chuck these up in a drill and they just put a perfect scuff all along there. So uh, we'll get to show you just a little bit of this. Uh, nothing great, but you know, as I said, it just scuffs this thing up really well. Okay, so got our control arm, got our scuff wheel. So as you can see, that uh, smooth surface now has an excellent scuff in it. I mean, that is that is ideal for, for paint. Paint will stick to that really well. So I won't show you all this, but this is what we have to do. So we'll do the control arms, we'll get the half shafts, we'll hit them with this thing, get these things all scuffed up, but uh, nothing too exciting to really watch on video. But you'll get the idea. Okay, so the control arm is now all scuffed. As you can see, it's no longer, uh, well, it wasn't shiny before because they got this matte kind of eggshell, I guess, type finish on there. But uh, it's all scuffed up. Uh, bushings are out. So I'm actually going to show you now. We're going to, we'll do the uh, bushings. So you can see they've got on the inside, I don't know if you can see that or not, they got little grooves in there to help get the grease out. We're just going to put a few on the outside to help it migrate out. Because uh, that does ride, this outer edge does ride on the frame and does move. So it does need to get grease up into there. Okay, so we got the bushing in our little vise. We're just going to make some notches. Um, nothing deep, just something to just let the grease through. Okay, so we got our tie rod ends here. We cleaned those up. We got our half shafts. We're actually gonna clean up the half shafts and I'm gonna paint from here to here uh, white. Uh, I think it'll look cool. So you'll have black, white. So we're gonna get this kind of black, white underneath theme. I may even paint these too. Um, actually, I probably will, cause that's just that, I don't know, almost look like black oxide finish. So I'll probably scuff all this. Uh, we'll tape all this off. And uh, then we'll get this all painted. Got my half shafts all scuffed up. As you can see. So now we're just going to wipe, wipe down with some acetone. This should be easy to paint. I'm just going to roll this. That'll be kind of nice, huh? And then we'll just going to paint this here white too. 
the half shafts I got to tape off and then I'm uh, ready to spray. So as you can see, everything is hung up. Tape this off, get the gun going, ready to spray. So I got the half shafts all taped up. We're gonna paint here, here. So that should look really good. It'll be black, white. Should get this uh, kind of candy cane look almost. Uh, as you can see, Everything's hung, ready to go, so we'll tack it off the tack cloth, and uh, let's go make some paint. So we'll pop open. This is the same white we used before. As I said, it's a uh, Ford High Performance White. I think it's from like mid-2000s, 2005 maybe. I'm not totally sure. As you can see, I'm getting, getting down there. I should have enough to finish the suspension, and I'll probably go a different white on the body. So this stuff is very, very bright. It's, it's pure white almost. Okay, so we're gonna mix up 50-50. So I'm gonna go two ounces, which should be plenty. Two ounces of paint. I wish they made these things easier to pour. You know, it would be nice. I mean, look at the lid, it just gets to be a mess. Okay. So now we need two ounces of our Transstar reducer. I think I bought this on Amazon actually. Go figure, huh? Okay, two ounces of that. The nice thing with this paint, as I said before, I can throw this back in the can because it's not activated. Just a standard base coat. Got our strainer. And then what we'll do is we'll go tack off our pieces with a tack cloth, put some gloves on, because that stuff gets on your hands and it never comes off. I hate the tack cloth. It's got like a glue. I don't know what's really in a tack cloth, but... So... Let that sit. Let's go tack it off, and then we'll spray. Okay, so I got my gun loaded up. Uh, air pressure's on, so let's go uh, do some painting. Okay, so we're going to kind of roll this thing. As I said, light coat always on the first one. Yeah, we got a lot of wind out here. This is not ideal today. It's actually chilly. Probably too, way too chilly, actually. But as I said, suspension pieces. We're not going for a sh car show finish. Good piece is done. Oh, you're probably wondering why I'm spraying over the boots. I've actually got the new red, uh, the high-end, uh, I think, energy suspension that Paul on the forum, uh, by the way, definitely get on the forum if you're gonna build one of these things. Uh, there's some assets there, like Paul, he, he guy builds an amazing automobile, and uh, you'll learn so much. I've taken so much from his builds, and uh, definitely highly recommend getting on the forum and and, and going with it because the guy is truly he's, a, he's an artist so we'll come back over here yeah it's already tacked off so now we'll put on a heavier coat we'll start with this side out here first through it's uh should have primed this stuff but We got another coat on, and that should just stop the bleed through. So we have finished with the uh, base coat. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, so it's a little cold out here, probably mid-upper 50s, so this is not ideal to paint in. It has not gone on very well, but uh, as you can see, it should look very nice. So we'll let this dry for a little bit, and then we'll uh, throw some clear on. Okay. I'm gonna go, we'll do four ounces of this. So we're gonna go four ounces of that and then an ounce of the, the uh, hardener, the activator. So 
So we've done a second coat of clear. I couldn't videotape it because my battery went dead, so, but as you say, it uh, looks very good. Uh, this should look really, really nice. You can see the control arms up here. They look good. Tie rod ends. Yeah, so that looks, that's going to be nice. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a little pain in the butt to keep clean, but um, it's also going to be very easy to look for cracks and things like that when you're pushing the car hard. So, but in the end, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Well, thanks for watching another episode of the Cobra Daytona build. Uh, this episode, we actually painted half shafts. Over here, you can see we painted lower control arms, tie rod ends. Uh, so busy day, but the weather's coming in. So uh, this is what we've got, but it looks good. As you can see, the uh, clear float out really nice. So we'll unwrap these tomorrow probably, and then uh, we'll stick them back in the house. And we'll move on to the next thing, which I'm not sure what that's going to be. I was waiting for fuel pump so I can start getting the gas tank together. Hasn't arrived yet, but we'll see because I uh, may start fitting some aluminum panels. Okay, thanks again for watching, and we look forward to you on the next episode. So if you like this video and want to see more, please hit subscribe. Thanks, and have a good one.